Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and back to our let's play of my time at Sandrock. Today, more with Nia, our best friend from Highwind. Morning! Ooh, I slept so well at the blue moon. I had a really great dream too. Decided to come pick you up myself this morning. <laughs> Feels like when we were kids, and I'd come get you for school. Hey, let me see your workshop. What's it like? Beautiful. Not bad, not bad. Did you build these machines yourself? And wow, that assembly station is way bigger than the one you had back home. Hey, I have an idea. You've been away so long, everyone's forgotten what you look like already. Let's take a photo together to show the folks in Highwind. Okay. Yeah. All right, don't pull any stupid faces, though, okay? I want to keep it with me. Let's do a cool pose. Say cheese! Okay. Um, we're gonna look at the camera first off. I like though there's not many poses for this right now. <laughs> eh, we'll just do normal. It's actually a pretty good shot. When I get back, I'll show it to your parents. I'm sure they'll be proud to see your workshop. All right, I'm gonna tell you our plan for today, okay? That way you won't get worried when you can't find me. I'm visiting the moisture farm later. You know, it's actually really famous. Professor Law has even mentioned it in class before. I think I might be able to learn a thing or two. If you're not busy, maybe you can come with me? Okay, let's All go. right, I'm gonna head over there now. When you're done with your busy work, come find me, okay? I want to show you all the cool botany stuff I've learned at school. Okay. Lots of little story things. More Blue Moon Saloon. Uh, that might be the apartment, maybe? Uh, something outside thing. And the moisture farm were first. Been a couple days since I played. Okay, we cleared it out. Just making sure. From Neil, letter from Ma. How are you? We read all about the bandit attack on the water tower. We were so worried. Nia worried about you too. She's already on her way to Sand Rock to see you. Has she arrived yet? Make sure you pick her up from the station. Don't be rude. Your pa and I wanted to come and see you, but we thought Nia would be better. You don't want a couple of old fogies like us cramping your style. Remember to take. Time for Nia when she arrives. Take a vacation and show her around. It's the least you could do. You and her ma wanted... Oh, and her ma wanted a San Juju bee cake. So make sure she comes back with one, okay? Love you lots, ma. And I do not have to reply to that. So, all right. I'm just going to go... Run out of water. I'm gonna load these up. And let's go get some commissions. And then probably head, head on down there. So we're caught up on iron now, so that's good. Whoa. Oh, the hitbox on this. There we go. You can eventually upgrade it, but we're a decent way away from that, but you can eventually upgrade this. It's like, um, if you played this game from the beginning, the one you were given from the beginning was the one that now you upgrade to. So like they, they downgraded, I think. Actually, I don't know. I need to probably check that if they've downgraded it or if it's just they make it so you can improve. I don't know. Okay, why do I have a saw? What was I? Oh, I was making this. Right. That is right. Um, I'm just gonna load this up too. It's got a bigger hitbox than I thought it did. <laughs> And then there. Yes. Let's see. 
I don't remember how recently I've seen. Actually, no, I'm gonna have to do this. Let's see how much the next upgrade is. Ten thousand. So we can do that if we wanted to. Let's I'll think about it. Okay. I'm gonna go to the commerce and then do the moisture. That is the plan. Today is Tuesday. So tomorrow will be Bang Trials. I'll make this. Not making that. I'll make this. And we're gonna take both of these. Easy money. And I might, I think I'm gonna go start my, the frying pan really quick before I head out. Time will be frozen in the, in the moisture farm, but it's fine. at least they're started. I think we should also tomorrow be getting research from Chi. I think it should be tomorrow. You don't want I'll give you a sandberry. Eh, better than nothing. I need to start remembering to keep on the gifts that the animals and people want. I need to start remembering to do that. Let's get this scene. Just Arbio apologizing. Lexi, they told me. Bang, I'm so, so sorry. Can you forgive me? I just, oh, it's, it was such a stupid idea. Stupid Arbio, forgive you. Lexi explained. Bang, thank you so much for forgiving me. I truly am, with all my heart, sorry. Apology accepted. I, I promise you I will never make such a poor judgment again. Poor judgments again. I thought that was voiced. I really thought that was voiced the last time I saw it. Huh. I don't know. It is what it is. I really did think that was voiced because most of Fang's missions are voiced. Besides so that's we, we also have Pomeda. Look, they're over there. In the beginning, we really struggled with sand hoppers. It took a few generations to breed something that could withstand them. That really is a long process. We were also cultivating tomatoes in one of our experimental greenhouses last semester. I had the highest yield of tomatoes, but the potatoes it produced, it must have had something to do with the soil. Hello, I was just talking to your friend here. Ah, you're here. Mr. Zeke was just showing me around the moisture farm. He said you repaired the hydrogel. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zeke, Professor Law said that if you want to grow bigger and juicier tomatoes, you need to control the irrigation temperature. If the temperature gets too low, it's not conducive to proper absorption of nutrients. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, and just call me Zeke. I just remembered the little greenhouses you used to make me. I planted some banana berries there. They turned out delicious. So, so sweet. Uh, I'm sorry. My mind likes to jump around a lot. I just say what pops into my head. The Builder used to call me Goldfish because of it. I understand. It's nice to find someone with a similar love of botany. What about you? Do you like planting here? I'm the best farmer in town. All right, expert. Since you're so high and mighty, let's do a little test. First question. Which tool is necessary for planting in the desert? A grid shovel. Hmm. That's right. Next, what kind of produce can't be grown in the desert? A lettuce. Sand. <laughs> That's right. It's really hard to grow lettuce in sand rock. Lettuce and many other crops need sticky and moist soil. Although most of the free cities can grow them, it's a real struggle in sand rock. But don't give up. I'm sure in the future, breakthroughs will be made and we'll be enjoying sand rock lettuce. Oh, I didn't trip you up at all. If I had known, I'd have prepared more difficult questions. You should see the questions on our tests. 
But if I'm honest, your answers kind of show that you really do care for your crops. I'm proud of you. Planting is actually a super interesting and deep study. Different plants need to be cared for in different ways. I still have a lot to learn myself. Oh, by the way, Mr. Uh, Zeke, I have something to ask you. These are the raspberry seeds cultivated by our school. The school heard I was coming to Sandrock and asked me to give these seeds to you. The teachers are curious about how these seeds will grow in a desert greenhouse. If it all goes well, maybe you'll be eating raspberries soon. Thank you. I'll accept this on behalf of Sandrock. Let's grow this together. Okay. Planting raspberries. Raspberries do eventually become available to purchase at the shop. The seeds, anyway. I don't think there's any use for them, though. All right, that's all of them. Thank you for your seeds, Nia. Thank you too, Zeke. I learned a lot today. Now, you two take care. I need to go take care of some crops. That was really great. I learned a lot. I need to go and write a report for school. Gosh, I have so many ideas right now. When I was hanging out with you, I really felt like I'd been here for years. If I'm honest, I kind of want to stay a little longer. You're welcome here anytime. Well, yeah. I wish I knew when I could come back. Well, thanks for coming with me today. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I'll see myself around town. I kind of want to see the sights. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning after all. Okay. She will literally... What are prices? She will literally run over to Mort now. So we'll go over to Mort. And beat her in the process. Mm -hmm. Wish I would have gotten the perk where you can see them. Oh well. Excuse me. Are you Mr. Mort? Oh. Mr. Mort was my father. Please, just call me Mort. Um, Mort? It's nice to meet you. Before I came here, I learned so much about you and Martel. You two are inspiring. Not only did you build a town in the desert, but you expanded the boundaries of human civilization. Even now, you're still fighting the sandstorms. You sing my praises too highly, I fear. We were simply young and stumbled on a beautiful oasis. But times have changed since then. I fear it is no longer the town we once found. Don't you worry, Mort. My friend will help rebuild this town, and in the future, loads of people are going to come. Ha! I hope to see that day. Okay, I'll talk to Mort while he's here. Hello, yeah. We all lauded Mason when he was able to build a Build for us the old water tower, and yet you new builders were able to construct an even better one in less time. It is as they say, the true heroes are the heroes of today. Be seeing you. They, uh, they changed his voice. I think, let me think, I think it will, because in this update, so this would have been, with this, with this storyline, oh, I need to put thing. This would have been Logan Strike Back, I think. Let me check really quick. You can find out to look harder. I'm not like in the middle of recording a video, but I think it was Logan Strike Back. They completely redid Mort's voice. So like the voice when it goes like, yeah, that voice. It was a totally, is a different voice than what they gave him in the Logan Strike Back update for like the Nia dialogue. That conversation. Uh, his birthday is the ninth of winter. Hmm. And you've once again proven yourself to be an essential asset in our cause builder. Any who oppose us must be coming to the realization that attacking our infrastructure is a fruit fruitless endeavor. Okay. I can see like $700 for plants I had sitting in my... Uh, my chest, not bad, not bad at all. 
Uh, what is this? I don't know, actually. This one, okay. Hmm. Pretty enjoy. Pick up the ball. I need something to distract it with. Earnest in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> Good Beatles song. Oh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Not her, but Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Very good Beatles song. A decent amount of like Beatles references in this game. You got the Sgt. Pepper esque poster. You got the uh, yellow submarine in the desert. And now, hmm. Ernest in the Sky with Diamonds. Ooh, she's our friend. That's, that was a big change. And someone became our buddy. Might have been her dad, Hugo. Um, Sandicooters, we'll go catch these sand. Oh, how many? Oh, that's fine. 15 is good enough. Lots of people want things. What does Cooper want? He likes to have rustic cabinets for bronze weapons. Howdy. Mm -hmm. I'm building there, builder. Yep, I seen what you done. I got an eye for quality, and that's my wa that water tower y'all put up. Quality. I can tell from having seen some water towers in my day. You know, not a lot of people know about this. Know this about me. I used to live next to one. No fooling. Yep. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Thanks, Cooper. Howdy. He always wants so long, a bronze weapon. Obviously, Logan's plan was to blow up the water tower because he knew he'd build it up and make it even and make an even better one. He saw the old one and was like, "Nah, that ain't it." Say, you got any more of? You got any more of that evidence? Hey, fancy seeing you around again, partner. Are you trying to edge out me and as my new best friend? Yeah, that's right. This town ain't big enough for the both of y'all. Howdy. Fragrant satchel. We can make that. Oh, we need to buy the recipe, though. How much do I care about getting... Uh, I don't care that much about Cooper's friendship. <laughs> Owen. Probably part-time work again. Yep. Oh, Ernest is in my uh -huh. space suit. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh huh. We're just gonna be like rag breaking in the Owen points because that mission should have ended a while ago. It really should. They must have really extended the time on that because it. I don't ever remember it lasting this long. It's fine though. I'll take free Owen points. He's one of the people I tend to forget about. I mean, it's awful, but I do. Ooh, that was a twofer. I do tend to forget about him because, like, sometimes you don't see him all the time. It looks like if it's people who I don't see all the time, I tend to forget about them, and it's awful. So at least this gives me like what was like eight to ten points with Owen every time. Not bad. Not bad at all. This might be done. Um, to view. Forge, forge, forge. It is done. Um, what else do I need to do? Find Unsure and Mabel. Mabel should be eating lunch right now. And Mabel pretty much stands in front of her shop until like 11, about 11 or noon, and then she goes in and eats, and then she goes back and stands in front of her shop. And then once in a while, she'll, well, on Sunday she goes to church, and then once in a while, Cooper's playing 
at the stage, she goes there. Hmm. Like when Carl in fact, the first time I came to Rock, Sand Rock was on my birthday, the 6th of winter. We're starting to get a lot of winter birthdays. Hmm. Where does where does Owen come up with these wild ideas of his? Dro drool with joy? Corny name. But them seaside folk really know how to spice up a plate. I tell you what, I gotta get that recipe. Hmm. That new water tower is a piece of work. You should be proud. It's a little taller, ain't it? I can see it from the ranch. Coop's a bit jealous of the makeover, and now he wants to change all our fence into metal too. Logan proof, as they call it. But then they'll just get hot and burn the Yakima, won't they? Mm, I don't Thank think so. Thank you. You have a rest. She's probably going to say she's busy. Oh, wait to come back next time. Okay. Sometimes if she's eating lunch, she'll say she's busy and won't give us a recipe. I'm unsure. It's probably up by the church. Fenty. Oh, he's coming down from the church. Howdy. Hmm? If you guys can construct a water tower that's Logan proof, why didn't we just make everything in town Logan proof to make it? Sure. Always stating the obvious. Um, I'm just gonna go this way. And the sand dakudas are what we're waiting for. Two hours. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the runes, I think. And take the Yakmo over. I'm hoping to actually be able to do a normal two-day episode this episode. <laughs> There's been so much going on. That would be lovely. It's always dependent upon, <clears throat> excuse me, What's going on in the story and that type of stuff, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I should be getting to chromium soon. Maybe not. I think the next floor will be chromium, which is good. We need chromium. Oh, this one we already started going down. And then it's over here. And that's the bottom of that. I'm getting my bearings back. This one does not label it. There it is. Okay, slide off. Okay, there we go. That was just not working. Okay, what's this? Microchips. Should also be getting into the um, the newer engines too. I'm actually surprised we have not gotten into that yet. Is there anything bad? Oh no, that's just design. Okay is kind of an empty floor. Like a shockingly empty floor. Chromium, chromium? No. Oh, yes it is. This is the chromium, this orangey. The orange is chromium. Thing I haven't purchased the um, chromium bar recipe yet. People are not really asking for it. Once I buy that, it's going to be a commodity that people are like, there's a compact motor. It's going to, once I buy the recipe, then everyone wants it on the board. It's one of those things I try to hold off on until I like absolutely need it. Same as the uh, petrified wood logs. I think we already had that piece. 
We're getting repeating pieces, I think. I think there are, if you keep seeing that Ozdak thing, there are like three or four different versions of that statue. There's like a warship, a rain something, I think. There's a, there's like three or four. And I'm surprised we haven't come across the, the mysterious room yet. We're due for it. Oh, the fire side. That's right. Why right, did we unalive this guy? Oh, well. Oh, we only got two more floors left. Very nice. You can sometimes get the uh, the compact engine in those little boxes too. I think it's like the the further you go down in the in the mine, the more more likely you're you're to get them. Let me pick up the fish first. When I was editing videos when I from when I bought this horse. I noticed that. It said the highest it can be upgraded to was perfect. And now I'm, I'm wondering if that's true. I, I don't ever remember seeing anything like that before. Well, what am I in? I want the fish. So I, I am curious if that is true. If it is, if it cannot get to rare, I might then had to keep an eye out for another painted horse. I've never had a horse I could not fully upgrade. So I'm just, I don't know. Stay there and go. Good evening, everyone. And would you look who I brought with me today? Our very own Mayor Trudy, back from her arduous journey through the desert. Let's give her that warm sand rock welcome she's surely been missing. Thank you, everyone. It's nice to be back. And look at what all sprung up since I've been gone. The new bridge, the reinforced water tower. Oh, truly amazing. As I return to my post, I hope to continue to pave the way forward to a Better sand rock. Well put, Trudy. Now you must tell us, what of your trip to the desert? What about all those experimental seeds you took with you? Surely there must be the beginnings of a new oasis out there now. Ah, uh, well, I hadn't really prepared anything on that particular subject. I think you can go ahead with whatever you plan to share today. Fish posh, old girl. We've all been so worried for you and so looking forward to hearing about all you've accomplished. Please don't trifle yourself with any formalities. Just speak freely on the subject. Well, if you insist, the seeds I brought out this time, they didn't survive uh, once again. However... Don't be down on yourself, Trudy. Even the cleverest cook can't cook a meal without the right ingredients. More so, the cleverest gardener couldn't grow weeds without water. These are simply the facts of our situation. Hmm. Perhaps I really need to start considering importing produce from Porsche. <laughs> you said you was gonna plant us a whole mess of trees out there and stop them sandstorms. You can't even grow yourself a green bean. <laughs> oh, man, this is bad. Are we, like doomed or something 
It's like such a jerk here. It's like such a jerk. Now hold on, y'all. Surely that ain't all. I believe Trudy still had more to say before being so rudely interrupted. Trudy, please continue. I, well, in the midst of my travels, I was able to collect and label a great number of soils and plants that should be beneficial to Zeke's research. Uh, yeah, no need to cheer. That's about it. I'm sorry. Man, all this time out, and you want to act like a bunch of dirt is gonna help us? I ain't never learned nothing from dirt, except not to eat it. Heck, I got plenty of dirt down at the farm. If you asked nicely, I would have gladly lent you some. Cooper, soils around here got different nutrients in them. If I can just... Oh, fooey. My dirt's just as nutritious as it gets. What with all that fertilization influence of the Yakmo and whatnot, it's a regular plant buffet over there. All you can eat. Hmm. Hey, come on, guys. Let's look on the bright side. At least our mayor returned to us safe and sound. Look, if the so-called road to a green desert ends up going nowhere, then we'll build a road somewhere else, right? Just because one idea didn't work doesn't mean we're never going to figure this out. Apologies if this has been asked already, but uh, plants don't grow in sand, right? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> All right, all right, simmer down, y'all. I'm sure something will come of Trudy's selfless work. Let's call it here for now. For any official town business, please direct your questions to the mayor from now on. Conserve water and er, have an omelet, courtesy of Owen. Okay. I can't interact Conserve with him. Water and protect hey, trees. have you talked to Fang yet? He's still kind of mad, but he doesn't hate us, so which means our plan worked. All it took was for it to backfire completely. See? Thank you, I knew it was a good plan. I really missed you. Hey, this is just... I kind of just eavesdropped on their there's conversation. there's something to be had in those samples. Mm -hmm. After being stonewalled by Matilda at every turn, it's finally time for me to, for me to pitch my idea to the to our open-minded mayor, Truly. I call it more trained initiative. It's a plan to commission more trains so that people can be fair here. Him and his mm -hmm. trains. It's nice to know the next shipment of water will have a happy home. All thanks to you, builders. Yippee! Uh, Let's go long, turn partner. in the earnest mission. Lexi, that ball of paper, can I have a look? I think it might be mine. No, I didn't mean to litter. I'm sorry. I dropped it out of my window in a fit of frustration earlier. Thank you. It suddenly occurred to me that I'd written a particularly be beautiful sentence on this piece. I'm sure it's, it seems strange to rifle through trash, finding a single sentence. But to a writer, inspiration comes at a, at, at a moment's notice. But I couldn't remember... What, I, what it was I wrote down, or I wrote, let me see. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Hmm, I wonder where you got that from me. No, that's awful. No one would ever remember, no one would remember that. What, what was I thinking? The stars glisten with the light of a thousand lives, a diamond, an oath, a promise. The sentence, what do you think of it? Um, you write really well, okay. Oh, you're too kind. Well, I was when I, when I was a child, I thought stars were like diamonds. I wrote as such, and even the teachers thought my similes were beautiful. My classmates, they didn't understand. They didn't like it at all. Um, I'm just gonna say maybe, maybe they just hadn't seen diamonds. Either or, I don't think it matters. I'm gonna say maybe they just don't understand art. No, I don't think that's the problem. Everyone's everyone is an artist. They just need to find their voice. I think perhaps they just hadn't seen diamonds. Okay, so the top one was the hard one. A little like, a little full of himself, whatever. 
I've always been in a special situation. My mother is an actor in, a mus in musical theater. Due to this, she's always adorned. She was always adorned with fine gems and jewelry, so I had seen many of them from a young age. Since coming to Stan Rock, I've almost spent all my savings. As a writer, I don't have much of an income before release. So in order to stay here writing, I need an income to supply my daily expenses, and I, I just can't ask my family for more money. So, my wondrous, amazing, kind builder, I have a request for the sake of helping those in dire straits, eating nothing but the specials at the Moon Moon, can I ask you for a discount next time I need your services? Of course. You're too kind, but no, I was joking with you, don't, you don't, wait, I was joking with you, you, with you, don't worry. I'm not quite that level yet, Thank, thankfully. I'll pay you whatever you need. Well, today has been enlightening. Thank you so much for your inspiration. And also for keeping my company, company, keeping me company, but I really have to run. These articles don't write themselves, you know. Okay. Yeah, the more you kind of get to know Ernest, like he's just like a, just like a rich kid who is very spoiled. Do I have an ad? I think it might expire tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. And he's just like a spoiled rich boy who like wants people to feel sorry for him and I don't. <laughs> I just I really don't. Um, I think with the rest of my energy, I am gonna put the horse away. And I think I'm just gonna go. Uh fill you with fuel. And top it off. What else do I need? I'm going to need. Oh, I have tempered glass. Um, I'm gonna make more of these. Copper. We're doing better on copper now. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do another one of this. So I think tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll say goodbye to Nia. I think we also might. I think we also might get the next story thing to start happening. I think. And I also fill you up, and I fill the other one up. I did. Um. Yeah. So that's what I think should be tomorrow. And we should also probably have our firepower generator tomorrow. I have a point. I hit the wrong button. Okay. So, um. Even better chance. Even better chance at the work table and machines. I'm going to do the double XP knowledge. Get that done. This again, this inspection time will be the very last thing I do. I don't, I don't really need it. I'm just gonna just basically hit anything I see. Cause we need to get some quartz. And so I'm just gonna just waste all my energy on this. You only can get the, the quartz from the gravel patches. We'll take this down. I think we're doing decent on wood now, but I'll still take it down. I just I don't like to leave stamina unused, so I think I can also make a bunch of water at this point. There we go. Oh, we have another photo from Mort tomorrow. Those little thorny jumpers are so cute. They really are. Oof, look at that, okay. So just empty out the pockets and then go to bed.
Ooh, the Duke Cantaloupe is ready. Oh, so that is a different piece. Very good. Um, so we have piece three and piece one. So we need piece two. And that went into Gecko. Scrap, scrap, and food. There we go. And now to bed. Um, I think I'll plant more juke cantaloupe. Just to keep it going. Oh, we get a seed. We're actually doing pretty good on getting the seeds back. There's certain times when I just, I never get a seed back. And that one, we got one too. I think some, I think Coco likes those seeds. There's a couple animals that like the seeds. This one's always tricky to line up. There we go. Okay. Very good. Um, that goes in there, that goes in there. I already, oh, there's the cantaloupes. I'm gonna put the, the jute in miscellaneous material because it is used, um, it's used to make uh, twine and stuff like that. And we have no water. Are you gonna take me there straight away? Nia's going back to High Wind today. I should go see her off. I'm going to first put water in my tank. If I can, I can. Nope. I made that mistake once where I made, I thought I clicked on water and I actually made an entire, um, all my stone into the the stone troughs or whatever that first thing is. I did that once. I had to start the day over. Um, and, 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 and Mayor Trudy set off to the desert. Was was talking about the that Zeke is doing research onto the soil she got, and we have our fire powered generator. So we need to do some research. Okay. So you came to see me off? Uh, three days went by way too quickly, but I need to go back and take care of my plants. You remember my neighbor raised a pig, right? When that pig gets hungry, it gets really hungry. So you can see why I'm worried. Hey, don't laugh. If that pig eats my graduate project, I'm not gonna be able to graduate for another semester. Okay, remember to write. You're sweet. Don't panic, dear. All right. Can we pack the same jujube cake? Yeah, it's all packed. Don't worry. I went to where they sell it, the Wandering Y. Weird name for a ranch. <laughs> the Yak Boy and his wife were really friendly. He sat me down and told me about his family history for what felt like eternity. <laughs> Their cake is famous, though. And when does the train There's leave? no rush. We still have a little time. Let's chat for a bit. Train the high wind, now departing. Train the high wind, now departing. Please gather your belongings and board the train. Ah, uh, that's me. I'll see you soon. Hey, when I'm graduated, I'll come see you again, okay? So don't miss me too much. Goodbye, my builder. And Nia is gone. Okay. So we'll go get our commissions and see what Owen wants us to do today. <laughs> Something about Sandrock breeds are real hard-headed folk. Any any idea how many times Trudy's been out into the desert looking for who knows what? Me either. I've lost count. 
Uh, uh -huh. And I have it. So don't uh, go. Yeah, the uh, uh huh. That fireside with Trudy was always is a little harsh. Like you almost wonder if maybe Matilda set her set her up for the failure. Being that like she refused to give up the desk and all that. Like, hmm, do you feel so bad for Trudy? Um, I'm still running short on that. Still running short on those. I might just do this page today and take the iron spear for pen. Just because that's a lot of money. I think that's what we're going to do. That's a lot of money, too. Okay, we'll do that. How are we doing? Very well. Our prices. Eh. Yeah, see, here's the chromium thing. I'm going to hold off buying that until I have to have it. And, well, I don't know, there's two ways of looking at it. You can either buy it and then you can start making the chromium because you do need a lot of chromium. So it's like one of those things. It's four hours. Um, I'm cancel it and do two and then one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, cause it's like one of those things that's like, I'm like denying myself being able to make it just to not have people ask me for it constantly. Cause that is what happens. They ask you for it constantly. And it's just, just after a while, it's like, well, I can't get any of my numbers up because they keep asking for it on the board. I don't know. Maybe when prices go back down. We have a lot of mechanical scrap, my goodness. I am enjoying having this little chest here. I didn't think I would like that chest there, but it's actually kind of nice. Okay. Fire powered generator. What do you require? We can find Bogan Jack again too. Bronze plates. Gonna hold that. Um, we'll use this one. And need to harvest this. Well, there's my coffee and tea. So I can now take coffee and tea commissions again. Nice. So what am I working on? Need to upgrade that. Okay. Going to first go to Thing and deliver commissions along the way. I need to do. Oh, Mabel has something. Okay. Hi there. <clears throat> How's life treating you? Not too caught up in your work. Excuse me, in work. I hope running around working yourself to the bone just ain't safe. Speaking of which, I had an idea. Want to bring a bit of joy to our little town during this time? Everyone's working so hard. I just want to see a few more smiles on their faces. You got a cooking station, right? Well, either way, I reckon you can help me cook up a little dish or two. Folks around here really appreciate a nice home cooked meal. So, dear, you mind helping out? Of course. Well, that's just uh -huh. grand. So here's the deal. I'm thinking of a Bring a Smile campaign with free Mac, Mac, Yak Melt milk chip cookies and snacks. 
I've got some extra ingredients, so I'm thinking of baking a whole load of cookies and then giving them to the fine town to find folks in town. You can give me a helping hand and make some additional snacks. Would you would then we'd be good to go. And to help you out, take these ingredients. If you if you use these together at your cooking station, you're sure to come out with something nice. Oh, and ask going for a recipe too. He loves to share his new recipes. Now to finish it all off, I reckon we'll be needing a desert a dessert stall. A dessert stall. A dessert stall. I heard you can build one on the work table. Think you can do this do me the, another favor there as well. Just place it it near my ranch after you're done building it. Thank you for the help, neighbor. Much appreciated. Okay. It's like a nice little small thing for her. Hey there! Yeah? You know why Trudy, our mayor, went to the desert, don't ya? Because no one else would. In case you ain't noticed, we got a little leadership problem on our hands. It ain't been... Had it been Matilda running the same show, she'd have sent the little survey boy... Wait. Had it been Matilda running the same show, she'd have sent the little survey boy out there to do the dirty work. Of course, he, <laughs> he'd have died. <laughs> and that's beside the point. We need to... We need doers <laughs> not twiddling their thumbs. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Cooper. I would say never change, but change. Okay, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Once I get the last telescope piece, I'm also going to probably assemble a bunch of relics and turn them into the museum. Lex is cooperating today. It worked! It worked! What do you know? Hmm. Hmm. I'll talk to Fang. Huh? And do you want a cracker? Do you want a cracker? Soon. No! No! It takes a little while for his lines to change. Pretty much anything X likes, Fang will take, but it, he doesn't like it as much. Um, check and then raise. Re oh! They added that! That was not in there before! Well, that's cool. Can chain. Oh, that means I can buy any type of horse and turn it into you. We'll see. If, we'll do the Fang special thing. Oh, probably tomorrow. Oh no, there it is. There it is. This won't make improve the um. This will not improve the rarity of the horse. Actually, I don't even know if it will do anything right now. So you basically need to keep an eye on these. Yeah, so it added a half a star of stamina. There's only like so far you can upgrade them with that. So you just be wary you might waste it. Especially being that he is not, Van Gogh is not perfect or rare or anything. So you only can raise it so far. So I need the special X thing. Yes, yes, these were the good old days. We were so full of hope then. Yeah. We used to write messages in the sand with straw. If you stuck them in there with a shovel, they'd stay there for a long, long time. Mm, but this photo, it was quite a while after we started doing that. Ah, yes. It's it all started when I found that old book. I thought was fate was giving us another chance. From the ruins of the old world that impoverished us, we found a book, one that detailed also all sorts of agricultural techniques, advanced concepts that included even terraforming the desert. The methods in the book seemed out of, out of our grasp, however, until I noticed the messages I used to write in the sand with straw. If I made them into a square, they could protect plants inside from up the blowing sand, and so began the straw grid. I began digging thousands of squares across the desert, sowing stubborn plants in each of them 
once I knew what could survive. As the plants grew, the straw became, fer became like fertilizer, and after a few cycles, the sand turned back into soil again. <gasps> Zeke might have told you something about these those days, hmm? We're all, <clears throat> we were all building the straw grid, and for a while there, we thought we were doing, we were going to put a dent into the sandstorms. But the desert was so, too strong. We were like droplets of water fighting against an unfeeling ocean. No matter what we did, the wind kept blowing, and our oasis got smaller and smaller. I've gotten old and have long since given up. Zeke, he took after Martel. He's still trying to find a way to do what we failed to do all those years ago. I can't help but feel responsible for leading him such a futile path. Yeah. Talk to him if you get a chance. The old warp technology is beyond us. Everything we've tried has led to nothing but false hope. I'm sorry that regaling such a, a pleasant memory took a rather dark turn. Please stop by if you find any more photos. I think we should have one or two more. I hope they do add more of those because I do, I do enjoy them. It is a nice little, oh, we gotta add research. Research, 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 research. I think I'm going to, I said to say hide she, but eh. Um, I think that is kind of out of our grasp right now. I'm going to do this and then I think the plan is going to be try to do this one then we're going to do the advanced then we're going to start on the, this level which it will be probably this one first and then probably the recycler then the furnace the that the that and then come back to here again I kind of think that's Probably the best plan. Trees of Expedition the Desert has once again proven to be unfruitful. Unsurprising. Hope is not a viable substitute for data. Goodbye. Hope G. So there's that. Don't lose hope. Um, we need to turn in something to Ryan. Oh no, it was Danby. It was Danby. And then there's a circle up by Mira's. There she is. Hello. Hmm. Judy being back is great news for me. This means Matilda has more time to work with us church people again. Maybe she'll finally see all the hard work I've been doing. Notice me, Minister. Yeah, I feel bad for Danby. She's kind of like she's kind of like the forgotten person in the church. She really is, but she always works so hard. You do kind of feel bad for. That's enough, Mr. Arvio, was it? Remind me, whose shop is this again? <laughs> Sorry, am I overstepping yet? I just feel there really must be a way for the two of you to work together. Mr. Mysterious, perhaps you just hadn't noticed this particular pot yet. It's got a lot of potential. Surely this one is mysterious enough to add to your stock. Please, call me the Mysterious Man. Mr. Mysterious was my father's moniker. But on the subject of mysteriousness, I'm afraid this pot could hardly be called mysterious enough for one such as myself. It's, at best, quizzical. It has never been my intention to have my work be confined to a singular aesthetic. Much less a single word. If my wares are of no interest to you, then I believe we are done here. I have other orders to attend to. You think I don't know what I'm talking about? You know... People don't come to this shop for the quality of the goods, right? You do know why they come, don't you? How dare you? Have you no sense of dignity? Hey, don't take it personally. Look, I've been around, I've seen the best. 
If I brought my guys from Walnut Groove in here to see this dull junk you're peddling, they'd laugh their butts off at the mere notion that you're anything but an amateur. And what is that kiln you've got back there? Looks like it's from the Stone Age. Hey! That's my sister's livelihood you're talking about there, pal! Quiet, Javio. Indeed. I use a traditional kiln. Glazing requires a kiln with more advanced temperature controls. So, you know all about it. What's your excuse then? Old ways are best? No. Money. And besides, though a traveler as yourself may have encountered such things, the more advanced kilns are rare, and their construction is still a well-guarded secret by masters within the ceramics community. Well, if you're a true artist, go and seek one of these masters out. Get off of your high horse and beg if you must. Till then, I have no business being here, and you have no business acting as though I do. Then you get one for me. Why would I do that? You said seek a master. You're the so-called master of trade, who claims he can get any rare item from any rare place. Get me a new kiln, and I'll prove to you that my ceramics are as good as anyone's in whatever sky it is you speak of. You think I'm really gonna lug a kiln halfway across the free cities, just so you can maybe feel better about yourself? Nah. Get me a diagram, then. I'll have one built. What's in it for me? Hmm. The best ceramic hookup in the free you. cities. Ah! You scared me! Why? Were you just standing back there quietly? Waiting for a dramatic moment to enter the conversation? Sheesh! We were just thinking about you. I'm going to need your help. Hey! I didn't agree to do anything yet. Hold your horses. Yes, it would be good to gain a high quality pottery connection in Sandrock. But if I'm going to spend my time on something that isn't a sure thing, it ain't going to be for free. It is, as you say, Miss Amira, I am a master of trade. There is no item too rare for me to find. But such a service comes at a cost. 5,000 gold. What? You're really not afraid of taking advantage, are you? You think so? Nah, <laughs> really. I'm taking it easy on you guys. You know what? I actually happen to think gray, non-glazed pots are pretty neat all of a sudden. Perhaps we ought to forget about all of this price gauging and... No, Avio. His price. It is fair. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Uh-huh. Well, offer's on the table. If you decide you want my help, I'll be staying at the Blue Moon for about three days. Come find me if you get the money. Or don't. Makes no difference to me. Am, Hammy, Amira, what should we do? Be quiet. Can't hear myself think. All our savings add up to around 3,000 goals. Maybe we could sell a few things, but are you really thinking of bankrupting us for our new kiln? Is it really going to be worth it? How do we know that mysterious man, and that even is his real name, isn't just blowing smoke up both our backsides? I think for this mission, there are technically different outcomes. I always do this one. I kind of think if you have Owen help, it does unlock something else. Like, I think there's a scene you get to see between him and Amira. I'm going to lend them 2,000. Well, you do that for us? You're the real deal! Avio, please refrain from so flippantly putting us into debt. Come on, Am. It's our friend. What else are we going to do anyway? Sell everything we've caught in three days? Ask Owen for help? That guy has a crush on you, you know? Could get weird. Hmm. When you put it that way. All right. We accept your generous offer. 5,000 goals? So you really want to do this, huh, Am? Yes. Trust me, Avio. One of these temperature controlling kilns will open doors for my shop and probably be a lot of fun, too. Thank you. You will be repaid in full very soon now come brother let us depart to the blue moon fetch the savings if you would ah yes the savings easy come easy go okay mysterious man i want your the chest i want the chest 
It's nice when you get this mission on a not normal mysterious man day. Oh, and I know you say it to me every time. Um. I do like this item, but I might, I think I'm going to hold off buying it. I mean, prices aren't that bad, but I just have nowhere to put it, so. Another modular cabinet. Of course. So you do eventually, Ooh. don't think that just because you gave them the money, the, the money's gone forever. Um, you do eventually get your money back um, and also don't think your game is broken if you a long time passes between getting now in the diagram it takes like I think almost a week to get the diagram and so it's it just it takes a long time it's there's nothing wrong with your game I think it's like seven to ten ooh. Seven to ten days to get the diagram. So that is a long time. When this first mission first showed up, people were like thinking that their game was broken. Like, why am I not getting the diagram? Why am I not getting the diagram? It's it's because it takes a long time. So just kind of remember this, and somewhere in the back of your head, and it comes back. Okay, horse. Need to upgrade this. Okay, that part's done. And what else? Yeah, so you get like 20, so I think it's like 10 days. So there's seven to 10 days to get the diagram, and then you have another 10 days to make the, the kiln. Bring a smile does not have a time on it. Have that done. Um, so we're gonna wait for that to be ready and we're gonna finish this. How much money do I have? How close are we to being friends with Trudy or at least buddies with Trudy? A long time. Mm hmm. Try and decide if it's worth upgrading my yard again. Sooner rather than later. I'll, I'll have to think about it. So now Ooh, it's perfect. Um We're just gonna put this here for now. It looks awful, but eh. So now instead of going up into each and every machine. Nope, I do not want to use wood. We just fill this up. And then you can also check your water here too. And I need to buy water. So this fires everything. And so you'll see it's working when this has that. You can still fill this up your individual machines. I almost always just leave what's in here just in case I forget to fill the firepower generator my machines then can still run and like you would have like a, a eight hour window where you can finally remember to fill it so it's just that way it keeps running you don't have to you are more than welcome to take everything out of these machines i just leave it it's just it's really up to you we're gonna leave it at perfect because i am running short on those things. Okay. How come there's only... Oh, because they're lining up. I'm like, why is it only showing the... Oh, I'm only tracking one. That also has something to do with it. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm going to go the mine really quick and just get to the bottom and then we'll end the episode. Howdy. Hmm? 
the journey's back what the heck was she doing in the ufala anyway so many better places to be though i do though i do have to admit her hair hairdo is amazingly intense who would care about that he is our associate Ooh, i can finally take the perk point to see people yay Okay, it says friend status, but I believe it's actually buddy. Buddy status. And turn us into pen, and then across the desert or the bridge we go. Aha! Our fearless leader has returned. With Trudy at the helm, there's no limit to what we sandwalkers can do. With her. No, I don't even know what that word is. Physique and unique powers of indecisiveness. We can. Oh, and I told, and I told myself I wasn't going to make fun. Rude pen, very rude. You heard nothing, Skinny. He is rude. Uh -huh. Recently, I've been training my guts. That's right. You heard. Have you tried the joy drool with joy noodles over at the Blue Moon? What's that? You invented them. All right, all right, good for you. But you know, no one likes a braggart. I mean. You don't have to go around beating your chest about every little accomplishment. Where, where was I? Ah, uh, yes, I'm training my guts. Even my iron intestines are no match for the heat of those noodles. Indeed, they pass through me like an avalanche. This is unacceptable. I will overcome this challenge as I have others before. Uh -huh. You do that, Pen. <gasps> Whoa. He's our buddy. I don't have anything for you, Nemo. I'm sorry. Do you like gold? Eh, three. Okay. Yeah, so he pens our buddy. We can see him on the map. So it is not friend status. Yeah, this episode is also running long. <laughs> so I apologize. I was quickly going to go to the mine and then end the episode. I will get Bogan Jack another time. Because he is way out there. Like, we're talking. I don't even know. Can we even see him? I think that might be him. No. Eh, Mitten. It might be him there. It's really hard. That's either a fish. That could be a fish in a spot. But he's way out there. I think we can speed run this beginning part because we've already been through it. Or no, we weren't. Never mind. Oh, it's the next level. Okay, so this level, you can't get beyond here. So you have to go down here. And then whoop, come, you, you basically have to keep retracing your steps. In order to get everything in this one. So you have to go around here, go straight up, and then over here. There it is. You hit this. And that now opened that up. So now you go back. To the very beginning. And this one's I think one of the more annoying ones. Um, just getting all this chromium and stuff. Okay, so you go back. And now you can get what was here. Hey. 
sometimes there is like a a yellow thing in here. Sometimes there is not. Okay, and so then you see there's that area over there. So now you go back and you have to get into this area. And it's up here. And sometimes that's a good chest, sometimes it's not. So we got rose stone. Better than having no rose stone, I guess. And then go all the way back. And I electrocuted myself. Nice. And I'm gonna get these. But yeah, that to me is one of the more annoying ones. This last piece of the telescope is being, being really evasive right now. <laughs> And hop back down, and this is the exit. Oh, there it is. We can turn that into G. That's a big piece. So next episode, we will finally finish that one. This is a more straightforward one, I think. Yep. Sometimes you get a repeat of the, that room. I hope we don't. Ooh, this one's fun. This one, you hit that. And that blows a hole in here. And so this one, there is stuff down here. The conch goddess statue, the one we just picked up, that one, they added that relic. Ooh, level 33. They added that relic in um, Knives Out. That was a brand new relic. And it's actually very pretty. And so, for this one, you kind of just hop over. There's sometimes stuff in there, most of the time there's not, and then you again just hop over. And there are again sometimes things in here, sometimes not. But I don't think you'd be able to get that if do like the hopping over the big cavernish thing, like the all the electrified fences, if you did not have at least a slightly upgraded jetpack. And we're gonna run out of power. Or we're gonna run out of stamina, not power. So I'm gonna use it on this. And then we're done. Nope, I don't want to call it that. There we go. So one more floor. We're almost done. So we get to repeat that all again later. <laughs> okay. And that one had a compact motor. Nice. So next episode... We'll do cheese telescope, turn that in. We will, if the story doesn't progress, which I think it should, we will, if the story progresses, we'll work on the story. If it doesn't, we'll take care of the Bogan Jack quest. 
Well, we might do both. It depends on what we have time for in the episode. I'm hoping to make them start making the episode smaller. If I have to divvy up days, I'll start divvying up days. I just, I wanted to do two days in an episode again. I miss doing two days in an episode. I may just also have to speed up time. I'm going to collect everything really quick and head off to bed. Gecko, gecko, gecko. This chest is probably going to fill up pretty fast. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to do something with that. These are all upgraded, so we're going inside. I probably should have put my thing up just in case. Well, looting, wood. That was books. Oh, well. Miscellaneous. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of My Time at Sandrock. I again apologize for it being long. Uh, next episode, we will, like I said, turn in cheese, telescope, probably progress the story. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself, and bye for now.